this is the iPad Pro latest version. It does not support this Apple Pencil, yet I can use my unsupported Apple Pencil and even features like the Hover are working on this old device. So to join me, you first have to own the Apple Pencil first generation. This is the only pencil which supports this. Apple Pencil USB-C, second gen, Pencil Pro, these all will not work with these steps. So then what we're gonna do, we will buy Apple's USB-C to Apple Pencil adapter. So we are giving Apple money. This can be bought on Apple's website. Third party versions on Amazon may not work, but you can always try. We will connect one end of the adapter into the Apple Pencil, the one where there's the circle. And the other side, you connect one end of your charging cable to the adapter and the other end you connect to the iPad. Now we will see accessory not supported as this was made for iPad 10th gen, but that's okay. We can still proceed. So what we're going to do is we're going to try this. We're going to open the app store. We will search for light blue and download the light blue app. This is completely free. We're going to tap on open. And so we should see the Apple Pencil show up. So I'm going to swipe down to refresh and we see Apple Pencil. If you don't restart your iPad and then try again. So don't click off the video and tap the pencil. We will tap Apple Pencil when we see it, but keep on watching this video. So we see Bluetooth pairing request. The login is one, two, three, four and then tap pair. So if you see disconnected data is stale, or if you get a connection alert and it says time out, then the fix for this, and it's not the most convenient, but you'll need to find your old iPad, which did support Apple Pencil natively, or get a family member or friend to let you borrow their iPad, which supports Pencil One. We then need to connect the pencil into the supported iPad, and once this is done, head to your Bluetooth settings, tap on the I for the Apple Pencil, and we must forget the device on this old Apple Pencil, then unplug it. Now, we're going to try the process again. So we'll plug this back into the iPad. We will refresh to refresh the connection. Ignore that accessory not supported message and tap the Apple Pencil again. So this time we see the pairing request. Enter one, two, three, four. Keep on watching. So it, it says pair. So it didn't work. So I'm going to repeat that. So I'm going to try it again. One, two, three, four, tap pair. And now it should work. So keep on watching and you'll understand why in a second. While it works now, and even the hover feature is working, literally everything's working. My other pencils are here. Okay, just in case you think I have CGI, they are here. I'm not using them. Even though this works now, the second you go to charge your Apple Pencil, which you can use with this adapter and just like plug it in to the same charger you would use for your iPad. When you do this, the pencil will stop working and I'll show an example. So I put the Apple Pencil on charge. Now it's not working. So how do you reconnect? What you do is on this iPad now, go to your Bluetooth settings and you will see that Apple Pencil. We tap the I in here and we forget the device. Then we go into light blue. We're going to refresh our connections and we just repeat the earlier steps and just do this every time you need to connect to the Apple Pencil. Always ignore accessory not supported as we don't care. So we'll pair again and there it is. So hopefully this video helps. If it does, please do leave me a like as this is took me too long to make this. Bye.